Hey foodie babes, we're back with another delicious recipe, one of my faves and one of my friend's faves, crab wontons. So that's what we will be making today. First, we're going to go over to our stove and we'll be using some grape seed oil. Grape seed oil. And we're actually going to fill up, if, if you have a, a wok, that would be great. If you have a regular little saucepan or any type of pan, it's fine as long as it's deep and it will hold the wontons. That's the whole key is being able to fry them in enough oil so that they can be submerged in the oil. All right, so these are the ingredients that you'll need. You'll need some Philadelphia cream cheese. You'll need the Cajun crab dip. So this is just the, the claw crab meat. It's just gonna make it a little bit more meatier. Okay, all right. For our seasonings, we have the Obey seasoning. We have our onion powder. <laughs> you guys have actually seen me going through my onion powder and my garlic powder. Okay, and then you're gonna need a pack of the uh, wonton wraps. You're gonna need some green onions. And then some of the flavors that I used from the last recipe, I'm gonna be using for our sauce for this one. So I've got the Pad Thai sauce. I have the Peach Carolina Reaper sauce, which gives it a little bit of heat. And then also a little soy sauce. All right. If your cream cheese is cold, just go ahead and microwave it a little bit. Give it a little bit of a um, few minutes in there so it's soft. You should want to be able to work with it so it's not so stiff. Now I usually take half, depend on if you have a big party size or just a small size, but that's all you need. This is such a quick and simple, anyone can make this recipe, it's so easy to make. I've made it so many times I can probably make it with my eyes closed. But for the sake of my foodie babes, I'm gonna walk you all through it. Really simple. It started off with the orange color, a more of a brighter orange. And then I added the Philadelphia cream cheese, which made it more of a pale color, as you can see. Okay, next I'm going to add a little bit of Obey seasoning. We'll give a couple little sprinkles. All right, and then we're going to add some onion powder. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. And then we're gonna add some cut up onions, green onions. When I'm preparing this, it takes usually probably five minutes to make, but what takes the longest is actually rolling out the wontons, the, the uh, little squares. That's what takes the longest. So next, I'm going to be opening up my crab meat. We don't want a whole lot, we just want a few. I'm just gonna chop these up. If you really want a good uh, fried wonton, when you add this, it just tastes more authentic. And that is enough. So I'm just going to stir this up. Just make sure it's really nice and blended. So we're going to get ready to lay out our wraps. And then we're going to fill those and we're going to stuff them and then put them in the oil. And then you want to lay out your wraps on your cutting board or a plate. You're going to need a little small glass of water and a spoon or a spatula. You don't need very much. So you're going to take just a little bit, put it in the middle. You're going to fold it in half. When you fold it, 
it's an art to it so you want to take your hand and kind of run it along the edges just kind of dab it and you want to make sure that you seal all corners so that when you fry your wonton you're not getting all the batter that's floating in your oil okay so there's the first one this truly makes a lot you just have to be patient when you're making them and you just kind of have to move the uh, mixture around so that it's flat enough to be able to create a triangle okay once you start eating them I'm just give, I'm giving y'all a disclaimer. Once you start eating them, it's over. For you know, as you'll have ten of them, you're like, oh my god, did I really get all of those? They're just that enticing and addictive. So. You can show your children how many of these, your husband, your significant other. This is fun during the holidays. If you have college students in school, this is a quick little, fast little appetizer for them. Anyone can make it. Now this does stay in the refrigerator for over a week. And it should be okay. As long as it's covered, it should be all right. I would not recommend freezing it though. Because you want everything to still taste fresh. Okay guys, I'm going to be adding um, the Pad Thai sauce to my pan. Because this is going to be, again, like I said, very similar to the um, lettuce wrap sauce. Kind of similar to the ingredients. If I had to eyeball that, I would say that's probably about a quarter of a cup of the Pad Thai sauce. You only need just a little bit. And then I'm going in with my Peach Carolina Reaper Wing Sauce. I know you guys are like, what does the wing sauce have to do with the crab wontons? Everything. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a little soy. So, maybe two. You want to make sure that your fire is on a medium high. And again, optional. You can add brown sugar to this if you like. You literally only, only need just a little bit. So we're going to let this get a little warm. I'm going to turn the fire down on low. Alright guys, so my fire is good and hot. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my crab wontons. And you can add in as many as you can. Just be quick to take them out because they will burn fast. Turn them over as soon as you start to see them brown. Just kind of move them around in the oil. You don't want them sticking and being on top of each other. So enough to put them in there where it's not splashing, but then not too overcrowded either. Alright guys, so there you have it. My delicious crab wontons and my delicious Asian sauce.